Nothing compliments your dinner better than a favorite dessert that the entire family can enjoy, right? So today we're getting a lesson in how to make a classic cobbler from the folks over at Better Homes and Gardens. Take a look. I'm Nancy Hopkins with Better Homes and Gardens magazine and I'm with Scott Peacock today and we're doing some American home cooking. We're making apple cobbler. How do we get started? Well, apple cobbler, one of the simplest and most satisfying desserts there is. And we've got some unbleached flour in the bowl. And we're going to pull a bit of sugar. Just we're granulated? Using, well, we're just... using some granulated sugar, but we're also using a little bit of brown sugar as well, too. It gives it a delicious flavor. A good pinch of salt. But we're going to grind our own cinnamon because I think it, it adds a lot to the cobbler. Okay. You can use a coffee grinder. is excellent. This is amazing. I've never ground cinnamon before. Oh yeah, it's easy and it makes such a difference in the overall flavor, I think. Oh, it's so it's aromatic. Just, oh, it's incredible. So you put just a little bit. You just want a hint of cinnamon. You don't want it to overpower mm -hmm. the cobbler. Now this is a stick of butter for this cup of flour. So you can see this is really good and crumbly. There's no loose flour anywhere in the mixture. What's next? Well, now we're going to season the apples a little bit and get them ready for baking. Well, we're going to use a little bit of sugar. For co size cobbler we're making, I'd say maybe a quarter to a third cup of sugar. Okay. Depending on the sweetness of the apples. And then just a little bit of flour. And this is just to help bind the juices as they start mm -hmm. bubbling up. Mm -hmm. A pinch of salt, of course, always. Of course. Really brings out the apple flavor. And I see you've got fresh desserts. nutmeg. Fresh nutmeg. And just a little bit of that. You want it to be subtle. You don't want to, you don't want your first thought to be, mmm, nutmeg cobbler. And just mix this together a little bit. Mm -hmm. There you go. And then we have these beautiful apples. We're using Granny Smith's today. Granny Smith's are a great cooking apple. There are other apples. These were the best we found today at the market. I see. But you could use wine saps or golden delicious, whatever your favorite cooking apple is. But these are a little more tart. I like these. I like these too, and you can get them anywhere in the country. So we've peeled and sliced these. They're about a third of an inch or so thick. Mm -hmm. And we're going to squeeze a little bit of lemon juice over them, okay. just a little bit for some added tartness. And it also brings up the flavor of the apple. Very nice. Very nice. And I'll toss that together. And then if you'll just sort of sprinkle over our little sugar flour mixture. Great. Perfect. And we will mix this all together. So we have this buttered baking dish, and we're just going to heat the apples in there. They That's cook, a lot of apples. It's so a you lot just... of apples, but they cook down quite a bit. I see. Yep. Yeah, and so then we're just going to put this fantastic topping all over the evenly, all over the top. And now this is about ready to go in the oven. It looks so full. Now it, is this okay? It is full, but it's going to cook down. The apples, when they start cooking, are going to settle down quite a bit. I see. And, and it, it can bubble over a little bit, so we're going to put it on a foil lined pan. Okay. And then we're going to cover it with a piece of parchment and some foil. The, the apples are very acidic, and so they could react with the aluminum foil and make it taste a little off. Ooh. So that protects that. So we're going to bake this covered for about 20 or 25 minutes, mm -hmm. take the cover off, and then we'll bake it for another probably 20 or 25 minutes till it's really golden brown all over and the juices are bubbling up around the sides and in the see. center. And here it is, all beautiful and golden brown and aromatic. Scott, this is so delicious. For better, I'm Nancy Hopkins.